So this is the dumbbell fly. And one thing that we want to make sure that we're doing is keeping a slight bend in the elbow, but keeping it consistent. There's going to be a tendency when it starts to get heavy or you start to fatigue of bending the elbow more in order to press it out. And we want to avoid that. You want to think about having a slight bend in the elbow and then just locking that up, that arm into that position for this fly exercise. The other thing I like to accentuate is at the top, really squeezing the pecs and just really flexing there for a second or two at the top of each rep, but not clinging the dumbbells together. Those should never come in contact with each other. So it's constant tension on the muscle and you're flexing the chest at the top and then keeping that slight elbow bend to whatever your end range is. It's fine to go past the plane of your chest if there's no pain. You don't want to push into a painful position or have to compensate, like I said, by bending the elbow more. So I'll just show you a few reps here. We're going to get into position by kicking these dumbbells up to the shoulders with the legs and then I'll come down starting in here. I'm going to start this exercise from the top, get that slight bend in the elbows, and then we're going to come down consistently to that end range, accelerating up, and squeeze a couple seconds at the top. And that's the dumbbell fly.